Welcome back to Politics Tonight, everyone. Thank you so much for staying with us. Tonight, we're looking at river state crisis and the way forward. And I've been speaking with Dr. J.K. Pele, founder, CEO of the Albino Foundation, is also a policy development and advocacy expert. Dr. Pele, thanks so much for staying with us on the program. So, uh, you, <laughs> you're from you. River okay. State, so I know this is, this is serious for you. But unfortunately, Rivers, uh, this is not the first time Rivers will have a successor, predecessor, political squabble. Uh, my question is, why is River State always unlucky, so to speak? Well, I, 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 don't, I, don't, um, I don't totally agree that we've been uh, unlucky. Every state goes through one uh, problem or, or, or the other. We have seen very brilliant, bright uh, leaders emerge uh, from river states and served, you know, in in their capacity, uh, with with utmost integrity and and with a high quality um, leadership skills. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, things like this do happen, uh, um, and we have to weather through the storm. Uh, Jamoke, I think it's important for. Uh, me to zero in on what's the way forward. Because we need to discuss solutions. Um, the more we talk about problem, the more we uh, increase the tension and situation in, in, in the state. So uh, it would be, be great for us to begin to look at what could be the problem. The, the, sorry, the solution. Right, the so we'll get forward. to that in a minute. But also, the practice yeah. of having an anointed candidate, what is the lacuna in this? Well, you know, you're, you're going into my talk, uh, uh, Jumoke, because I hate God for that reason. I just, it's not in my dictionary. And it's very undemocratic, you know. I mean, a a leader can have support, supporters, uh, people who believe in them, uh, people that trust in their leadership, and they can work to uh, bring you to a position of leadership. But it does not mean that the leader becomes a slave mm. to those who brought them to power. And I think this is the, the hidden, the elephant in the room that we are not willing to treat. Godfatherism must, political godfatherism must stop. It must stop. It is anti democracy, you know. And the more we encourage people, uh, a, a governor should be able to, uh, or, or a president, a governor should be able to lead and finish leading, he can decide to say, This is the person that I want, you understand, to take over. Yonder. As long as that person will not pay allegiance to that individual more than he will pay allegiance to the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the people of the state that brought him, you know, this is, is a major issue we need to deal with and deal with it decisively. Call it what it is. Political godfatherism should and must stop. Granted, anyone would uh, uh, say, well, it was Wike that did everything possible for uh, mm -hmm. Fubara to, to uh, emerge as a governor. Well, thanks to him, even himself. And to many other politicians. For him. <laughs> yes, somebody else worked for him to become the governor. You know, uh, it, it does happen. You, you understand? But the the problem is when people begins to pay more allegiance to the people or person that brought them to power at the expense of governance of the people that elected that individual that's where the problem is and until we address this issue to the root and uproot it and ensure that there's no tap root left behind we will keep having this kind of problem it's happening in several states river states is not the only one it's happening right now as we speak in several states, you know, and it should stop. 
Well, uh, um, I believe uh, that uh, beneficiaries of Godfatherism in Nigeria politics may not agree with your thoughts, Dr. Pele. But then, do you think this is something we can do away with in Nigerian politics? Jim, okay, whether they agree with me or not uh, does not dismiss the truth, you know, and does not expose the ugly part of that kind of practice. You know, mm -hmm. um, anyone can say, uh, well, it, it's a, an African thing, you understand? But globally, and if you follow the principle of democracy, you know, it does not promote um, a situation where an individual wants to perpetually be in power, and when he leaves, he's still ruling in absence, and he's still in control. And he has the power and the audacity to slap a sitting governor. He has the power and the audacity to determine who sees that governor and who does not see that governor. You know, he is far away, away from the, uh, the seat of power, but he is the one sitting in power. It doesn't work. And it's not going to work. I think it's a delusional thing. The, the people practicing it lives in this delusion that um, I'm bringing my anointed candidate and he will always do what I say and tell him to do. Okay, wait until the likes of EFCC start investigating that ex-governor, throwing him into jail. The current governor should also go to jail with him. It's their godfather. It's his godfather. Is that the practice? If that former governor dies, the current governor should also die. That's God for that reason. If he's a very bad leader, the, the current governor should also be a, father, a bad leader. That's God for that reason. If he's a violator of the Constitution, that current governor should also violate the Constitution. If his wife dies, his own wife should die. Is that the practice? <laughs> in all of this. Uh, I mean, the camps of both men are not uh, completely helping matters here. Uh, either camps are blowing hot. Thanks. What exactly should be the role of supporters in this uh, kinds of situation? Well, you know, you, you, you summed it. Uh, and, and kudos to, to, to you, uh, uh, Jumoke. Uh, you know, you're a trained journalist. Balancing your story is very important, and you have always done that, you know. I, I think, like I said, um, if both parties, it's not, a, it's not even a question of if they are willing, you know. Um, we must push for them to willingly take the path of honor and resolve this issue. Conflicts can be resolved, even if it has underlying issues. And what contributes to a, a state of insecurity? We can, we, can, we can look at it contextually and look at it from an expert, expert uh, um, uh, lenses. Analyzing the matter, the way forward is what we should go for. What is the way forward? How can we... Uh, deploy a known strategy that can give us results. And I think one of them, uh, 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 Jumoke, is to sustain dialogue and reconciliation. We need to kickstart dialogue and sustain it until we achieve reconciliation. I can delve more uh, into this if, if, uh, if that's OK by you. Mm. But while we seek a permanent solution to this uh, political impasse, how can river states grow beyond this kind of politics and ensure a rank of free succession? Well, one, by destroying this godfatherism fabric. Um, I think the time has come uh, for, uh, for everyone who wants democracy to grow in the state to put it to rest, you know. Um, two, it's also important 
that people are not desperate for power. Because in desperation, whatever you're told to do, you will agree. In desperation, you know. But when you're not desperate for power, there are certain conditions that is given to you that you just look the person in the eye, I will not be able to fulfill this. Therefore, give it to somebody else. But unfortunately, oftentimes, you know, at that time, because you want to sit and be in the corridor of power, you're told, okay, once uh, you become governor, um, you will always send me money, maybe half of the state revenue. And you say, okay, well, once you become governor, mm -hmm. um, you must not go out to eat with your wife until I give you permission. You say, okay, if you're governor, your children must not go to the toilet. You know, you say, okay, by the time you assume office, that person you made promise. It's often said that promises makes relationship. It's performance that keeps it. When you make those promises and you swore to keep them, the person you made the promises to will expect you to keep them. And oftentimes, and I guarantee you, tell me one governor, one person, through in go back in history, that has maintained cordial relationship with the people they handed o over to, except that that relationship, that there was no condition to the person taking over power. That is why you, you also see, uh, or you saw that there are certain governors that fell out so badly with the people who took over from mm -hmm. them, you know. And, Right, so uh, Dr. Pele, if you're to speak to both parties to do now. what they couldn't do. Right, uh, before so I let you go this evening, if you're to speak to uh, Governor Fabara and Minister Wiki now, what would you be telling them? Listen to wisdom. Um, allow peace to reign. Toe the line of, you know, dialogue and reconciliation. Hmm. Discuss what the issues are. Nothing, and absolutely nothing, cannot be resolved. Respect each other. Ask your supporters to tone down the rhetoric. Allow a natural mediator with no vested interest in the outcome to facilitate an open, constructive discussion. That is why, as a proud indigenous of River State and a staunch advocate for peace, I employ the National Peace Committee to swiftly intervene in the escalating political crisis in our beloved states. Lives are at stake, you know, okay? And the fabric of our democracy is under threat. All right. We cannot afford to let partisan, partisan interest overshadow the welfare of our people. So the Peace Committee should step in and facilitate a dialogue towards a peaceful re resolution. The two parties concerned, please allow peace to reign. Because this thing has a spiral effect. The more you get into it, the more you involve innocent people, right. the more you go on the path of insult to people that probably are old enough to become your father and your grandfather. All right. You know, so, so it's important. If we must strengthen democratic institution, this is what we need to do. Jomoke, if we must ensure that we bring about economic development, addressing security concerns, this is what we must do. It's, we can go on and on. The legal and constitutional adherence Sadly, is we're also out of very time. important. <laughs> thank you so yes. much, Dr. Thank Pele. You. It's been an interesting you, conversation man. with you, and thank you so much for your perspective. And we really hope that peace reigns in River States. Thank you so much. I've been speaking.